Hey guys, this is Saul Stadi and welcome back to Comic Space. And today we have such a major update that it has to be one of the biggest updates that we have got in recent time. With a major crossover and more than that, a merger of Marvel Studios 616 Universe with the Sony Spider-Man Universe, which does not exactly have in Spider-Man in that universe, but whatsoever a major crossover and major merger is going to happen with marvel studios with sony pictures entertainment with a lot of insiders hinting towards it and what does it actually means for tom holland spider-man and tom hardy's venom and again moving forward it is just going to be getting a lot more fun with post secret wars activity that is going to happen with sony and marvel studios so again, this update is not exactly coming from the sources that we like to give a lot more reverence to. But again, a multiple sources does have went on to hint to us that Marvel Studios and Sony could be looking for a potential merger of 616 Universe and the Sony Spider-Man Universe. Again, this is still quite early to talk about because even if they are going to do that and they're going to take steps towards to do that kind of merger, it still has to be in the talking terms. It doesn't exactly have to be something concrete that they have all figured it out. But again, if that is actually going to happen, how majorly that actually affects 616 continuity and Sony Spider-Man universe, which again has been a topic of chatter with Morbius, with Madam Web and everything that they have been doing with the live action Sony Spider-Man universe. And it is also early to talk about it in terms of even if that's supposed to be happening, it has to be post Secret Wars. And again, given the timing of all of that, and given the state of Sony Spider-Man universe and the grand conclusion that we all are heading towards and that is Secret Wars, it just makes complete sense that Marvel Studios and Sony can be taking those kind of steps and after Secret Wars and the aftermath of Secret Wars which I'm really excited forward because after that we are gonna head straight into the Mutant Saga with Marvel Studios X-Men reboot. It does make sense that Marvel Studios and Sony can do such kind of thing and to kind of revive some elements from Sony Spider-Man universe. Anyhow. If you're talking about stuff like even with the Venom franchise which have come to an end with Venom The Last Dance and which again I don't think so we are going to see Tom Hardy coming back to Venom franchise. We hope that he does but again I think this is pretty much it for the Venom franchise and even if you're talking about Craven the Hunter the inclusion of that character does not seem to be happening because Aaron Taylor Johnson have already portrayed Quicksilver in a main continuity. And even with Mobius and Madam Web, those projects are just not on the table whatsoever. Even for Sony, those are just not on table for anyone right now. And Marvel and Sony are going to utilize Secret Wars and the aftermath of Secret Wars and everything that is going to happen after towards leading up to the Mutant Saga. If they are going to use that, I don't think so. It actually going to make such a major changes in terms of what we are actually going to see happening in Marvel Studios adaptation with Tom Holland Spider-Man and inclusion of some of the characters that Marvel Studios previously would have not been able to and the restriction that Marvel Studios and even now with the partnership of Sony they have restriction they still cannot use certain characters and as Sony builds up the Sony Spider-Man universe Sony is also kind of restricting Marvel Studios to using those characters again and reutilizing them so again even with Kraven, Rhino and all of those characters such as that they are restricting Marvel Studios and I think that is the one of the major things that it is a load off of Marvel Studios that they can do and expand the load of Spider-Man a lot more without having in such an extensive restrictions with again with contracts and everything and what characters they can use and how much longer for they can use and everything that comes with it and I think that is a plus side for what we can see with Tom Holland's Spider-Man trilogy moving forward which I'm pretty sure that we are going to get and even with the utilization of Spider-Man in Secret Wars and in other Marvel projects as well. And if you're talking about what is going to happen on the Sony side, we probably can be seeing a co-credit of Marvel Studios and Sony making those films together and having Marvel Studios advertise and also being a producing partner on all of the Spider-Man adjacent projects as well. But what we are talking about here is that the Marvel and the Sony universe are going to merge into one and then we are going to have this one singular continuity and not all of these Spider-Man adjacent projects that are coming from Sony which takes place in completely different universes and does not have to do with anything whatsoever with Spider-Man. So again, we want this one singular continuity moving forward with all of these characters uh, which again I don't think so. Too much of what we have seen from Sony from the Sony Spider-Man Universe adaptation 
we are not going to see a lot of it we are probably i think the bigger thing it has to be it has to be tom hardy's venom and tom Holland's spider-man and that is it from the day one that venom film have got out and i think everybody kind of have saw that that we need we don't need spider-man versus craven or morbius or anything like that that's what we need and i think that's right now that's the bigger thing that i think probably can come out of this the merger of all of this continuity into one and to have all of this storylines taking place in our main 616 continuity is that is load of marvel studios and less restrictive environment of utilizing these characters which again has been a lot and there was even after the weird limbo after spider-man far from home where we were kind of talking about even if storm and spider-man was even part of the mcu anymore also have a lot of crossover events as well moving forward just not the avengers films just not the spider-man trilogy and even the spider-verse might also get involved into all of this stuff because why not and another the major thing to talk about that we know recently that tom holland have went on to sign in deal with marvel studios renew his deal with marvel studios and sony pictures signing in major deal that just does not extend the role of spider-man in the upcoming secret wars and doomsday but obviously his new trilogy from Spider-Man 4 to 6 and also some other projects that Spider-Man is probably going to be the part of because that merger if that happens it also allows Marvel Studios to utilize Spider-Man and characters such that into other MCU projects as well so again you will have this mega universe combined of all of these elements and Spider-Man finally coming home even though we had the whole homecoming trilogy Anyhow, there has been a lot of talks and there was even a weird limbo that we just talked about. So again, given everything, it isn't just a major and a very great update. And it is going to be fun how Marvel and Sony are going to move forward with this iconic character. So I think it is time for me to see you guys on this one. I'm so glad that you guys got the time to hear me out. Thanks for listening to me. This is your host, Adi, signing off. See you in the next one.